Orly Bato YouTube just coming at you with another video here. Uh, did some more buying. And a couple months ago, I uh, bought some uh, Peace Dollars or no, uh, whatever the other Double Eagles, not the St. Gaudens. I made, made a mistake and bought two of those. I wanted one of each. So the other day, I went ahead and Bought a couple more of these, uh, bought a couple of these AU uh, St. Gaudens so that I have them in my collection. Um, these uh, look pretty nice. They look a lot like uh, Gold Eagle, so uh, pretty stoked on that. Um, actually, you have, just happen to have a Gold Eagle here um, for comparison. And uh, difference is the edge. I didn't realize that the uh, there was reading on this one and not on uh, not on the original St. Gaudens. Very interesting. So uh, what year did I get here? 19, 1924? Interesting. Alright, here's the other one I got. is 1924 I wish they would have given me different years but whatever it is what it is and the AU so they're in uh, respectable quality and uh, yeah these are uh, I think everybody agrees that these are the gold coins by which all others are judged so uh, pretty stoked on that All right, keep moving on. I'm gonna go from uh, best to worst. Uh, next, I picked these up, uh, government again. These were $17.95 each, and uh, I got them right before the price went up again. So I got 10 at $16.95, I got 10 at $17.95, so uh, that's good, and with Silver over 17 bucks this week. Um, I think I did all right with these, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, let's see. Next up, I bought just one of these. This is the Mark Whatever tank. Uh, um, I didn't really want to get it, but since I was making another order, I just bought one. And, you know, the reverse proof things. And it's pretty, frankly, I think it's a dumb, dumb purchase, but um, it'll just get squirreled away in the permanent collection. So um, I don't think these were especially popular. So uh, I don't know. It could be one of those uh, rare finds or something in the future. <clears throat> okay. Now we're really starting to get dumb. This is the Prospector, but it's not just any Prospector. It is... It's the one with the Colt 45 Privy. You know, this Privy business is out of, out of control. Um, you know, when, when generic rounds start putting Privies on there, and then doing limited mintages of 10,000, that's just asinine. And then, you know, some sucker like me comes along and actually pays... 19 bucks or whatever, you know, for it. <laughs> Idiotic. I can't believe I did that, but whatever. I actually think these are the nicest looking generics that aren't, you know, expensive, like, you know, some of the Hazan bucks or whatever. All right. And since, uh, since I was really an idiot, I bought this. Actually, I bought a lot of this. We have a Bigfoot sighting here. Um, you know, I don't think there's words that can really describe how stupid this is. Um, and I can't believe how stupid I am to actually buy this crap because, uh, I mean, what's next? Uh, aliens, UFO, Loch Ness Monster, Chupacabra? Give me a break. I can't believe I bought this stupid thing. Um, and I'm sure that if uh, Chupacabra comes out, I'll buy a bunch of that, so... 
I didn't just buy one or two. I bought a whole tube. You know, and here's another thing I'm kind of upset about is Provident goes through and opens up these containers and high grades them out. And actually when I opened up my box, this was already open and the coins were spilling out. Kind of upsetting, but whatever. It's, uh, I don't really buy these for the numismatic and, you know, hoity-toity. I just get them because they're, uh, a little bit unusual and, uh, they're recognizable and have a slight possibility of appreciation. Anyways, so, let's just go ahead and do the review here. All right, folks, that's, uh, that's all that I bought. Oh, wait, you can see these. Anyways, that's all that I bought this time around, but uh, there was another special at AppMix this week that I took advantage of. I think it's uh, probably one of my better buys on something that's a little bit on the more special side, at least to me. Um, so... Uh, I just sent my check out in the mail this morning. Won't have that for a couple weeks, I'm guessing. But uh, it's one of my biggest purchases to date. So, uh, anyways, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, uh, enjoy. And uh, I'll see you around. Thanks.